Get ready to experience the future of travel as we take you on a journey through Europe's revolutionary experiment. Imagine traveling faster than a plane, without the hassle of airport security, and with a smaller carbon footprint. This is the reality in Europe where trains are replacing planes as the preferred mode of transportation. But how did this happen? And what makes this mode of transportation so much better than planes? Join us as we explore the cutting-edge technology and innovative thinking that's driving this transportation revolution. From high-speed trains to underground tunnels, we'll take you on a journey that you don't want to miss. So sit back, relax, and get ready for a ride of a lifetime as we take an in-depth look at this massive endeavor. This dream could very well become a reality. In June 2022, rail industry leaders in Europe met in Lyon, France to establish a plan that will double European high-speed rail use by 2030 and triple that number by the year 2050. This plan could revolutionize travel in Europe. Trains are nothing new in Europe, but the idea of replacing planes with them is groundbreaking. To get a better understanding of why this might work, let's start by looking at how different these two forms of transportation actually are. With high-speed trains reaching speeds of up to 300 kilometers an hour, traveling by train in Europe is not only faster than flying, but also more efficient and comfortable. Imagine crossing borders without the hassle of airport security, enjoying panoramic views from the comfort of your seat, and reducing your carbon footprint. Trains in Europe offer a sustainable alternative to flying, with less noise pollution and a smaller environmental impact, not to mention the convenience of being able to hop on a train from the city center, instead of having to travel to the airport and avoid going through security checks and long waits there. The concept of replacing with trains got serious consideration when industry leaders met in Lyon, France in June of 2022. The goal is to double the number of high-speed rail trips in Europe by 2030 and triple that number by the year 2050. This would free up airports and make it a lot easier for people to get around quickly and cheaply. But before we continue, do you want to be a part of a community of forward-thinking individuals who are shaping the future? If so, then don't wait. Hit that subscribe button and be the first to know about the latest advancements in technology, innovations, and much more. Now let's jump back in. But is this actually possible? We'll take a look at the current state of Europe's railway system, explore how it could be improved, and find out if replacing planes with trains is an achievable goal. Currently, Europe has a patchwork of different train systems, countries like France, Germany, and Italy have extensive high-speed networks that are great for getting around quickly. But other countries, like Spain and Greece, have much less developed networks. This means that if you want to get from one country to another by train, it can involve a lot of stops and slow speeds. However, there's good news too. Many countries in Europe are making plans to upgrade their railway systems. For example, the UK is investing billions into its high-speed rail project, HS2. This will link London to major cities around England, and it could even eventually connect to Europe's high-speed networks. Other countries are also investing in their railway systems. Italy is building new lines, while Spain is expanding its existing lines, and France has announced plans to build the world's longest railway tunnel, which could eventually link Paris to Marseille and beyond. All these projects will make it easier for people to travel around Europe by train. But they're just the beginning. To really make a difference, Europe needs to invest in new stations, faster trains, and better connections between countries. But there is still a lot of work to be done before Europe can truly have a unified inner-city railway system. Let's look at the challenges of connecting the railway network across Europe. One of the main issues is that each country has its infrastructure and systems, making it difficult to create an integrated network. This means that passengers have to change trains multiple times when traveling from one country to another, creating an inefficient journey. Another issue is the cost involved in expanding or improving existing railway lines. It's expensive to build new tracks and upgrade existing ones, meaning that the cost of creating a continent-wide railway network is high. These issues can be overcome with some creative solutions. One way to make it easier to create a European railway network is by standardizing railway systems across the continent. This would make it easier to connect different countries' railway networks and make it simpler for passengers to travel between countries. It's also possible to reduce the cost of creating a European rail network by using existing infrastructure. For example, some railway lines are already in place, but need improvements to make them suitable for passenger trains. This would be cheaper than building completely new lines. 
So, with some creative solutions, it is possible to create a European railway network that can replace planes and make travel more efficiently. Now, the question is, how will they make this happen? Well, to start with, they plan on improving existing railway networks and building new ones. This includes things like upgrading existing lines and building additional lines to connect cities that are not yet connected by rail. They also plan on investing in technology to improve the efficiency of trains with things like automated systems and better sensors that can detect issues quickly. In addition, they're putting a focus on increasing the speed of trains. This means investing in new and faster trains, as well as making improvements to existing lines so that they can handle higher speeds. This could mean building dedicated high-speed tracks or improving existing ones for increased speed. Other than that, they plan on introducing more flexible ticketing options. This would make it easier to purchase tickets and could potentially allow passengers to change or cancel their tickets at short notice. Additionally, there are plans to introduce discounts for frequent travelers and special fares for students and the elderly. But what about safety? After all, railway networks are much more complicated than aviation networks, from tracks to signals to trains themselves. To address this concern, the European Union has invested heavily in research and development activities related to railway safety. This includes things like computer simulations, driver training programs, and enhanced maintenance procedures. The goal is to make sure that trains are just as safe, if not safer than planes. The hope is that they can make the system safer, faster, and cheaper, making it a viable alternative to air travel in Europe. However, this is not the only challenge that these leaders must face. In addition to safety issues, they must also consider environmental impacts. Trains are much more fuel efficient than planes and emit fewer pollutants into the atmosphere. Additionally, they can help reduce congestion in airports and reduce the need for more runways. This is why European countries are looking to invest in their rail networks and make them more efficient. And what about comfort? Train travel is often seen as more comfortable than flying. After all, you can take your time to get from A to B and have the chance to look out the window and enjoy the scenery. Moreover, modern high-speed trains offer a lot of amenities, from Wi-Fi access to spacious seating areas. In some cases, they even offer onboard entertainment systems and gourmet food. This makes them a much more enjoyable way to get from one place to another. Moreover, railway networks are often more reliable than air travel. The majority of delays in Europe are due to weather conditions, which trains don't have to worry about as much. In addition, trains can be rerouted quickly should there be any problems with the line or tracks. This makes them a much more reliable way to get around. Rail travel also offers some social benefits. For instance, it's often less stressful than air travel and has been known to bring people together, as opposed to isolating them in the cabin of a plane. Additionally, railways are often seen as the green way to travel, as they require less energy than planes and emit fewer pollutants into the atmosphere. This is why many European countries are investing in their rail networks and making them more efficient. So, is replacing planes with trains a realistic goal? It certainly looks like it. With the right investments and improvements to infrastructure, Europe's railway network could become a lot more efficient in the coming years, potentially making travel between countries quicker and cheaper than ever before. But we'll have to wait and see what the future holds. For now, industry leaders are focusing their efforts on making sure this ambitious plan becomes a reality by 2030. And if they can do that, then Europe could be well on its way to becoming the continent of high-speed rail travel. Of course, this process will take time. But if all goes well, Europe could soon be the home to one of the world's most efficient and reliable rail networks, replacing planes with trains in the process. The potential cost savings environmental benefits, and convenience that would result from such an undertaking could make railway travel much more attractive than it currently is. While only time will tell if this goal can be achieved, the future of European high-speed rail looks incredibly promising. With the right investments and the right plans in place, Europe could soon see a revolution in how people travel from one city to another. Just imagine, no more long waits at airports or jet lag from long-haul flights just the chance to explore the continent in a comfortable, convenient, and eco-friendly way. That's something worth striving for. If you enjoyed the video, you gotta check out our next video about why is a billionaire building a $400 billion city in the US desert?